So now we're going to look at quite a difficult example of infinite geometric series. So the reason this is so difficult is it really tests your understanding on convergence. So uh, you really have to know uh, what convergence means and how a series converges. So what are the, what are the rules for a series going to converge? So remember, we do a quick revision of what convergence means. So if it converges, if a series converges, that means that it approaches a limit. Okay. So say it approaches a limit. Um, so it'll keep going up and up and up uh, until it eventually gets really, really close to a number, but it won't quite ever reach the number. So it approaches a limit, and that number is the limit. Uh, and you can get that number with this formula here, S of infinity is equal to A divided by 1 minus R. But there's a specific case, so it tells us if a series converges or not. So this has to be true for the series to converge. And that specific rule is, if you remember, the absolute value of R has to be less than 1. So that means, for example, we could have a half because that's less than one. We could have minus a half because it's less than one, but the, the positive value of it, so plus a half is less than one. We could have minus the third or plus the third. We could have six over seven or minus six over seven or any of those. We couldn't have, for example, minus five over four or five over four because they're greater than one. Okay, so we're not able to have those two, but any of these here would be perfectly fine because uh, they're, they're less than one. So the way of looking at that, another way of looking at that, and for this question it's going to be helpful, is that or lies in the interval between minus one and one. So that's just kind of a fancy way of saying that or has to be between minus one and one. It can't be minus one or it can't be one. So it can be minus 0 0.999 or it can be plus 0 0.999 or any number in between them, but it can't be minus one or one. So that makes sense. Yeah, so if we, we have to prove that this uh, series converges, we have to prove this thing here. So it's kind of a way we hadn't looked at it before. Um, so first we have to find out what or is in this specific case. So this is a series, so a geometric series. A, the first term is gonna be one, and then the common ratio. So what happens each time? It gets multiplied by the common ratio. We see that the common ratio is equal to four X divided by X squared plus nine. So put a little box around that, because each time, you're multiplying this thing by 4x divided by x squared plus 9. So 1 multiplied by this here will give us this. And then this multiplied by or again will give us this. So we'll see that that's the correct or because every time it's being multiplied by this number, it goes bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. So we have to prove that basically that uh, this here, 4x divided by x squared minus 9, x squared minus 9, is less than one and it's greater than minus one. So we're gonna have to do two different proofs there. So this is back to kind of uh, inequalities, so proving things with inequalities. Um, and if we can prove this, then that's the question done. So it isn't even that it asks us to calculate the limit. We don't need to know um, how to calculate the limit. We just really need to know this really well, that uh, if it converges, that means that or has to be between minus one and one. So I'm gonna have to do this in two separate things. So I'll go yellow on this side. So we're going to split this up and I'm going to say that minus 1 is less than 4x over x squared plus 9 on this side. And then uh, I'll go red on the other side and we'll say that 4x divided by x squared plus 9 is less than 1 on this side. Okay, so I'll prove this one first and then I'll prove the one on the right. So here what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides by x squared plus 9. And we can do that because we know this is gonna be positive. So just if you aren't super comfortable with these, we le recommend looking back on our videos on inequalities and it should clear things up. So we can multiply both sides, no problem, because x squared plus nine is always gonna be positive. So then we're gonna have minus one multiplied by x squared plus nine is less than four x. Okay, that's gonna be minus x squared minus nine less than four x. Gonna move this over, it's gonna be minus x squared minus, sorry, minus 4x. So we have to minus 4x over, minus nine is less than zero. Gonna multiply everything by minus one just to get rid of the minuses. So remember when we multiply things by minus one, uh, everything's gonna have to change. Or, or, these will all change though, but the most important thing that will change is the direction of this sign will change. Um, 4x squared plus 4x plus nine. So how do we prove that? we're gonna to have to complete the square, which is kind of a weird thing. So what we have to do is go orange. We have to say that um, x squared plus four x plus four minus four 
plus 9 is greater than 0. So completing the square, that's one of our videos in algebra. Uh, I'm not going to go into it too much now, but if you do want, you can uh, go back to that video, and then you can see why exactly I'm doing this, and it'll help us to prove that it's positive. So x squared plus 4x plus 4, that's a perfect square here. So we can break that into x plus 2 squared, and then the, this bit here, minus 4 and plus 9 have been unused, is going to give us plus 5 overall, and that is greater than 0. And that is true because this number here is a squared number, so it's always going to be either um, it's always going to be positive basically, and this number here is always going to be positive because it's five. So we know that this is always going to be greater than zero because it's a positive number plus a positive number. It has to be uh, another positive number. Yeah. So we're going to do the same for this here on the right. Uh, we're going to multiply again both sides by uh, x squared plus nine. So we'll get four x less than x squared plus nine. So then we're going to get 0 is less than x squared minus 4x plus 9. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to complete the square. It's going to be x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 4 plus 9. 0 is less than, and we're going to complete the square with this here. It's going to be x minus 2 squared. And then the minus 4 and the plus 9, sorry, minus 4 plus 9, is again going to give us plus 5, and then we have the same thing here. This is always going to be positive because this is positive and this is positive. Um, so therefore, we've proved that, um, say, therefore, minus 1 or 1, uh, and you can say, therefore, it converges for all values of x. It converges, and I'm not going to write that last bit, it converges for all values of x. So that one is a little bit confusing. Uh, it's a little bit long. So it's mixing a few different topics in. You have to understand how the modulus works, and then you have to understand inequalities as well to prove that. Uh, but as long as you get the, the basic idea, that's a, it's, that's more, probably the most important bit if you can prove easier examples of this. Yeah, so that should be everything for this video. Um, again, the most important bit is just this bit here, that if you want to prove that something converges, you have to prove that or either or is less than one or prove that or lies between minus one or and one here. Uh, so in the next video, we're going to look at more infinite series. We're going to look at recurring decimals. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.